why engineering chemistry lab is required. In engineering chemistry lab, chemical analysis is carried out using volumetric and instrumental methods which interacts with all areas of chemistry and with other fields of pure and applied science. For example, the manufacture of materials whose composition must be known precisely such as the substances used in integrated circuit chips is monitored by analytical instruments. The instrumentation provides the lower detection limits required to assure safe foods, drugs, water and air. Chemical analysis is the application of a process in order to identify or quantify a substance, the components of a solution or mixture or the determination of the structure of compounds. The two types are quantitative analysis and qualitative analysis. The identification process is called qualitative analysis and the estimation process is called quantitative analysis. As per VTU syllabus, in engineering chemistry lab, we have two set of experiments, instrumental experiments and volumetric experiments. Each set consists of six experiments. Part A experiments are instrumental experiments. They are estimation of FAS potentiometrically using standard potassium dichromate solution. Estimation of copper colorimetrically. Estimation of acids in acid mixture conductometrically. Determination of pK of weak acid using pH meter. Determination of viscosity coefficient of a liquid using Oswald's viscometer. Estimation of sodium and potassium in the given sample of water using flame photometer. Volumetric experiments are estimation of total hardness of water by EDTA complexometric method. Estimation of calcium oxide in cement by rapid EDTA method. Determination of percentage of copper in brass solution using standard sodium thiosulfate solution. Estimation of iron in hematite ore solution using potassium dichromate solution by external indicator method. Estimation of alkalinity due to hydroxides, carbonates and bicarbonates of water using standard HCl solution. Determination of COD of wastewater. We shall see the volumetric experiments in engineering chemistry lab. Volumetric or titrometric method of analysis is type of quantitative analysis. Quantitative analysis is method to determine the volume of solution accurately of known concentration that is standard solution which is required to react quantitatively with a measured volume of solution of a substance to be measured. Solution of known concentration is the titrant. The solution being titrated is titrant. The completion of the titration is detected by the indicator which gives clear color change. This point is the end point. The different titrations are the complexometric titration, acid based titrations, the redox titrations, precipitation titrations, etc. The apparatus required are the burette, pipette, standard flask, conical flask and measuring cylinder. Likewise, the estimation also be carried out by instrumental methods. In instrumental methods of analysis, a physical property of the substance is measured to determine its chemical composition. An instrument is used for chemical analysis which converts the property of the substance under inst investigation into a form that can be readily measured. The measured quantity is related to the quantity or the quality of the sample. The different instrumental methods are potentiometry, conductometry, colorimetry and flame photometry. 
Hello students, I would like to start with general instructions to be followed strictly by the students while carrying out experiments in engineering chemistry lab. Let us know how to wash burette. Wash the burette thoroughly with tap water, rinse it once with small quantity of deionized water. Now rinse it once with about 10 ml of the solution to be bureted and reject the solution. Fill the burette beyond zero mark using a funnel and adjust the meniscus of the solution to zero centimeter cube. Now let us know how pipette is washed. Wash the pipette thoroughly with tap water. Rinse it once with small quantity of deionized water. Now rinse it once again with about 10 cm cube of solution to be pipetted and reject the solution. While transferring the solution from the pipette to the conical flask, hold the pipette against Hold the pipette straight till the solution drains out. Now touch the pipette two to three times gently to the empty bottom of the conical flask. While transferring the solution, do not blow air through the pipette. Let us see how conical flask has to be washed. Wash the conical flask thoroughly with tap water. Rinse it once with small quantity of deionized water. Do not rinse it with any of the solution. After every trial, reject the contents of the conical flask to the sink and wash thoroughly with tap water and rinse with small quantity of deionized water. 